Now that that three panel of judges says that the newly passed congressional map is unconstitutional, there's a big question of what happens next. The biggest thing is that the Secretary of State says that she needs a map in place by May 15th in order to get ready for the election this fall. The map that created the second majority minority district created a district that stretched from Baton Rouge to Shreveport along the rivers. The court ruled that it was racially gerrymandered and the plaintiffs in the case are now appealing the ruling to the Supreme Court. While they didn't pick this map supported by the GOP, they believe there are still other ways to get a second black district. The court didn't even didn't never even got close to addressing the issue of whether Louisiana should have two majority black districts. I think that's been resolved. That's been settled. That is understood by all parties to the case. The district was said to be drawn based on political reasons to protect Representative Steve Scalise, Mike Johnson and Julia Letlow. Some believe it was targeted at Representative Garrett Graves to draw his support out of his district. State Senator Cleo Fields, who already announced he would be running for the new seat, says he is not discouraged. Let the Supreme Court decide whether or not what we did was um, uh, a racial gerrymander or not. And if they choose that, uh, uh, take the position that it was, then they need to give us uh, not directions, give us a plan. There are some options for a temporary map being put in place with the court drawing its own or a map from the plaintiffs being selected. There will be a status hearing on Monday in Shreveport where we will hear the next steps for this case. At the Capitol for your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht.